Well, hey there, everybody. It's Lori McLean, and this is another episode of RA Raw. So the title of this episode is Methotrexate Doesn't Have to Suck. As those of you that have seen my videos before and are familiar with my story know, I was diagnosed at the age of two with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. By the age of 13, I was put on methotrexate and have been on it ever since. So we're gonna talk about tips, what I have learned in the last 30 years of how to minimize those sometimes nasty side effects. Before we get into me sharing my tips with you about how to minimize the side effects of methotrexate, let's take care of some housekeeping. If you haven't been here before or you haven't already, please do subscribe and remember to hit that bell icon so that you get notified each and every time I upload a new video. Let's go. Okay, first, let's become familiar with methotrexate in the stats. Created in the 1940s, methotrexate was commonly used as a cancer-fighting drug. It helped to slow the growth and spreading of malignant cancer cells by blocking their access to folate, a form of vitamin B which these cells need to survive. Unfortunately, this can also damage healthy cells, particularly in the gastrointestinal tract, mouth lining, fo hair follicles, and liver. According to the Arthritis Foundation, methotrexate is one of the most effective and widely used medications for treating rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatologists insist it's also one of the safest drugs despite a common misconception among many patients and even some primary care physicians that methotrexate is highly toxic. A 2009 review of 21 studies regarding methotrexate found that 73% of patients had at least one known side effect. The study also indicates that most of these side effects were minor and with the addition of adding a few simple steps, this drug can become even safer to use. The stats, that was them. Now you know a little bit more about methotrexate and what it's about. Now, here's the other thing about methotrexate. You are most likely on folic acid as well. If you are not, go to your rheumatologist and ask him or her why they haven't put you on folic acid. They go together like peanut butter and jam. That's the question, isn't it? Well, there seems to be two camps out there that say, yep, I take it every day and nope, I skip dose day. I am over here in the everyday 365 days a year camp. And that's because my rheumatologist has prescribed it that way. I follow her directions and I do as she asks. But if your rheumatologist tells you to skip, then do what he says. Skip that day. Okay, so you're taking your folic acid as prescribed. You're doing what the doctor says, but you're still feeling nauseated. You're still feeling fatigued. So what do we do about those side effects? Here are my tips. We'll start with number one, because it's always a good place to start. Take an antiemetic or an anti-nauseant with your dosage. Now, whether you're taking it orally or you're taking it via injection, you wanna couple that with an antiemetic or an anti-nauseant. I take gravel sometimes, not all the time, but I sometimes do. Um, and I try and take it about half hour before I do my injection. Yeah, it makes me sleepy, but that's okay. And you're gonna find out why. Tip number two. Take your medication, take your methotrexate right before you go to bed. Make it the last thing you do before you climb into bed. And then by the time the nausea and all the yuck kind of starts to kick in, you are well on your way to dreamland. Drink, drink, drink. The more water you take in, the better. Really it is. It helps to flush that methotrexate through. On injection day, I try and take in about two liters of water. I try. So that's about four or five of these. Um, I try to, I don't always do it, but the following day, I also pump the fluids big time. Try and again, take two, three, four liters of water in. However much I can do, I try not to beat myself up about it, but I just find that it really helps to flush that methotrexate through. Peppermint and cinnamon lozenges. Now, when you're nauseated, the kind of the last thing you feel like doing is eating anything. So, but I find that I can sometimes suck on a peppermint or suck on a cinnamon candy. Both those things really help 
calm my nausea. So you give it a try too. See if it helps you. If it does, let me know in the comments below. Is to split your dosage. Um, if you are on the oral version of methotrexate, that is so much easier and you don't have to poke yourself twice. So take it one, take half of your dose one day, half your dose the next. That way you don't have as much going through your tummy at once. And as I say with the injection, same thing. You can split it if you're finding the side effects to be too much. Um, half one day, half the next. Go for a walk. Now I know that kind of sounded silly to me too when I um, when I first saw that one and I thought, no, 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 no. That's the last thing I feel like doing is leaving my house and going for a walk when I'm feeling blah. But I tell you what, the fresh air, the sunshine, if it's sunny out that day, it, it just helps so much to get out and about in the world. But taking a brisk walk, you can get the, the blood pumping, help to move that methotrexate through, and it really does help. I often will get mouth sores from my methotrexate. So my grandma told me years and years and years ago to swish with salt water. And I was like, yuck, Graham, that's never gonna work. It does, it totally, totally does. Take some warm tap water, put some, you know, as much salt as you can handle, just regular table salt, put it in there with the water, swish it around, stir it around. Don't swallow it, just swish, swish and spit. It really does. It helps a lot with the mouth sores. Nausea, fatigue, hair loss, mouth sores. Those kinds of things are pretty common with methotrexate. But here's a list of things that if you're having these side effects, you want to let your rheumatologist know right away. So that's it. Those are my top tips for dealing with the side effects of methotrexate. Stay tuned, we've got more videos coming, and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.